Hey guys, this is the AC Service Tech. Today what we're looking at is how to check a 240 volt blower motor. All right, This is a PSC permanent split capacitor blower motor out of a fan quill. You'll also find them in package units, All right, either gas furnace and air conditioning package units or um, air conditioning only. Okay, So uh, the 240 volt single speed blower motor uh, can be diagnosed the same way with resistance all right just like you would diagnose a compressor all right so first things first if the blower motor is not running all right you're first going to be checking voltage signal okay you're going to be making sure that it does have voltage all right alternating current after that you're going to go ahead and check your capacitor. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure the power's off. You're going to turn the power off. You know, pull, disconnect, whatever you need to do. All right, and you're going to check your capacitor. So this particular capacitor right here is a 10 UF. Okay, and it says 370 VAC. All right, these capacitors are either going to say 370 or 440. All right, so if this capacitor was bad, then you can replace it with a 370 or a 440. But just say this capacitor was a 440 then you can only replace it with a 440, all right? Uh, but it, it does say 10 UF, and UF it also stands for microfarads. It's just an old manufacturer's uh, lingo, uh, but it does mean microfarads. So you've turned the power off, all right? You've verified that, and now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect our capacitor. All right, now we're gonna check for capacitance. Now, uh, we're gonna scrape this, okay? And we're going to Try to get any slate remaining voltage uh, out of the capacitor. It's not going to it's not going to store like uh, as much as it is when this thing is running because when this blower motor turns off, it's going to discharge this capacitor for the most part. But just for the, our reading sake on microfarads, uh, we want to just make sure that this is completely discharged. All right, you're going to use a screwdriver that does not have paint on it, the actual metal. All right, you could do that or a 10,000 ohm resistor, but uh, I just usually scrape them. All right, and that will be for five ton systems and smaller, typically, you know, all those types of capacitors. I'm not talking about huge uh, capacitors, but, you know, normally all those types of capacitors at 80 MFD and, and less, you can just scrape them. All right, so we've pressed into our terminals here and we got 10.14 UF or microfarads. All right, so that's good. Anywhere is between uh, plus or minus 5%. So that capacitor is good, all right? So then the next step that we would do is we would check resistance of the blower motor, all right? So you wanna make sure that the blower motor is off. You would have already checked just to make sure that this was free, okay? But you wanna make sure it's off and that's not spinning while checking resistance values. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna be checking your three wires right here, okay? So if you don't know which one is common, start, and run, you can still check this, all right? What we're gonna do is we're going to check our resistance values, and basically you're gonna get um, three pairs of resistance values. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check our resistance values on these wires, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and go from red to blue, okay? And we have 27 ohms of resistance. All right, roughly 27 ohms of resistance. All right, now we're gonna go from blue to black. So 27 plus 15 ohms, we'll say. So that is uh, 52 ohms of resistance, all right? And then we're gonna have our third pair, all right, is what the two pairs previous should equal to. Okay, so we have 41. So roughly uh, figuring that our other resistance readings were off just a little bit. You know, we see we have 41, um, 41 point something, you know, about 41, 40.5. All right, so this motor electrically is good, okay? You've read from, uh, say, any of these wires, say black, to ground, okay, and you dig into the ground, all right, or actually you should dig into the motor itself. If you have resistance, and that's not a good thing, 
Okay, that could be why a motor is bad. All right, so right there we have 25.8 ohms of resistance, and that's not a good thing. That means that motor winding is shorted out on the side of the metal frame of the motor. Okay, do it again. This is the red wire. That has 95 ohms. And the blue wire. 40 ohms. All right, so uh, it is not good to have a resistance reading going from the motor windings to the frame of the motor. Okay, that's just going to mean a dead short when you go ahead and start this. All right, so this motor is bad. All right, and that's that. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.